to my channel, Adia Sherelle. Let's get straight into this fishtail braid ponytail. I am going in with a middle part and then I'm just sectioning off my bangs. I'm bringing it a little bit lower down, just above my ear so the bangs could flow the way I want them to. Now I'm just slicking back the rest of my hair into a ponytail, starting off by smoothing it down with a Denman brush. Then I'm going to secure with an elastic band. As you can see, we're all in there. And then I'm going to spray it down with some got to be glue spray. You know, this is the jam right here. Then I'm just going to brush it down and take my blow dryer. Please excuse the tape. It's not blow drying unless you got the tape. Okay. That's, that's what gets the heat going. <laughs> Go ahead and grab your braiding hair, just regular braiding hair. This one didn't match my hair perfectly, but I went with it because I was already committed to the process. I got this trick from Deeper Than Hair. This way of adding in the ponytail is so much better. You guys, make sure you try this the next time you do any of your ponytails. So when I go ahead and flip over the top of the braiding hair, it just folds over so this way you don't see the ponytail. And one thing I want to mention too is make sure you subscribe to the tribe. <laughs> now with any synthetic hair, you got to brush it, baby. Okay, this is not human. I am taking out a small section of the braiding hair. This is the piece that I will use to wrap around the base to completely conceal the ponytail so it is undetectable. Now what I'm going to do next is start off with the fishtail braid. I pulled out two strands, one on the left side and one on the right side. And then with the middle section, I'm just going to split it right down the middle in half. Then what you want to do is carry over the strand to the right and transfer it over to the other side. Join it with the opposite half. Then take the left side and join it to the right half. And you want to continue doing this. Take a little section right on the edge and then bring it over to the other half of the braiding hair. As you can see me doing here. And once you do this, it will start to form the fishtail braid. Here I'm just adjusting the strands a little bit because I just want that space up at the top. But again, pulling out a small strand and transferring it over to the other half. I love this type of braid so much. It's an easy beginner braid for people. If you learn how to do this fishtail braid, it just gives you the mechanics of how to do a three strand braid. Okay, sometimes we got to walk before we run. Okay, so we're starting with two strands of hair and then the full on braid is with three. So anyone can do this. It's very beginner friendly. And I'm trying to make sure I don't add in any of my natural hair into the outside strands. My hair is shorter than the braiding hair and it will pop out if I would have been trying to stretch my hair over to the other side it just wouldn't work so i was mainly just dealing with the braiding hair and later on i'm just going to make sure my natural hair is tucked underneath where you won't be able to see it okay so i am done with this first section and then i'm going to take a rubber band and just secure that first portion of your fishtail braid I'm going to repeat the fishtail braid in this other section. So it's like a two tiered fish braid type of situation. We are all done. I will secure it with another rubber band and then just brush out the ends, make sure that is detangled. 
we are going for a more whimsical a little messy type of look i am just pulling out the outer edges to give that appearance as you can see here now i'm going to take the pieces that i left out and wrap that around the ponytail holders it's all in the details these little extra steps that you take really brings the hairstyle together i took my scissors and i'm just going in and taking out some of the bulk before i add the flexi rod Before I go in with my heat tools, I use heat protectant. I'm spraying that in my hair, brushing it through, and then I'm going in with the flat iron. Not gonna lie, I struggled with getting used to the flat iron again. <laughs> so luckily the flat iron wasn't on too high um, and I did make more than one pass. Don't you do that. Try to get it right on the first try. But yeah, I, I had to play around with these bangs, but we got it together, y'all. I wanted my bangs to lay a little flatter. I just wrapped it with a scarf while I was dipping my flexi rod into hot water. I leave it in for about seven seconds and then I take it out of the water, just pat it dry, unravel it, and I get a nice little curl on the end, y'all. And here are the final results. I absolutely love this fishtail braid ponytail. It's so cute. Thanks for watching. Bye.